Hey guys, my name is Gabe and this is episode 31 to Let's Make Rust. So in this episode we're going to be doing something really simple. Uh, we're actually going to be working, um, this is the last episode on our inventory. So we're going to be making it so that when we pick up apples and things, they actually appear in our inventory and they also work with our toolbar, or tooltip, excuse me. And um, the tooltip will actually now go away when the, um, when the inventory is, uh, is closed and opened. So uh, stay tuned and enjoy. All right, so to get started, we're gonna open up our solution and inside of our tooltip, we're gonna wanna pass a few things. So I think we're gonna have to do using unity engine.ui. So we're gonna be using the UI namespace and I'm just gonna remove this. And that's a motorcycle. Okay, so I'm gonna do uh, public text. It's going to be button one. And I'm also gonna do public image. I think it's image. Or panel let's see so background belief okay it's an image so we're gonna do public image and this is background image and we're gonna do public text button 2 okay so we're gonna make a method here so we're gonna do private void toggle uh, hmm. let's just throw this all inside of this method. I think that'll make more sense. So if enabled is true, then background image dot enabled is equal to uh, true. Button one dot enabled is equal to true and button two dot enabled is true. Now I'm gonna copy these. Make this false, false and false. Okay, so I believe in our inventory, let's see, so that's not controlled in our inventory. Uh, that probably should be, I'm, I'm pretty sure we, we do have a reference to tooltip. Uh, no, we don't. That's a little strange. We have the reference in our item object, I believe though. Yeah, we do. Uh, okay, so then I guess in the tooltip and start, we'll just do um, I'm thinking of how we could do this. I'm thinking of how we could do this and, and that it'll make the most sense. So I think we're going to take this and I think we're going to just do this inside of tooltip. So we're going to do private void update. Maybe late update. We're going to do if input dot get key down key code dot mouse zero toggle tooltip false and vector 2.0 and actually I'm, I might what would happen if we copy this what would happen if we copy this pasted it like that remove that we would have an override for that right okay transform dot position is equal to vector 2.0 so this should be the override. So if I remove this, oops, I did that completely co incorrect. So remove this, toggle tooltip false. Okay, so if we toggle the tooltip to be false or true now, um, we're now accessing this second method. Like this is this is the same method, but um, it's an override. So it's either gonna do this one or that one. This one is just without the, without the vector two. So if we go here, and do toggle tooltip. So if I type in false, you could see we have two options here if I go up and down. I think I explained this earlier, but if you don't understand, that's how it's done. And I'm also gonna do that. So hopefully this will work once we drag in all our necessities. So background, image, button one, text, and button two, text. Okay, so if we hit play, we should, okay, we do get errors. Hmm. Okay, component. Okay, so tooltip on one is equal to tooltip button. Tooltip. This is a separate. This is a separate script. What? Oh no, my mouse. Oh. Uh, yeah, my mouse keeps like locking. It's a little strange, I don't know why that happens. 
We should just be able, uh, we should just be disabling this text. Why is it not finding tooltip button? Yeah, we're getting errors. Hold on. So if I, if I do that, and I put this here, okay, that broke the whole thing. So if I did that. Ooh, tooltip. Okay, so we're having a problem finding the tooltip button. That's a little strange. So, hmm. Uh, I don't know. So what happens if we just go into our tooltip and we disable this? This is just the text. Okay, I, I, I'm confused. So we're just gonna disable these. Let's see if it should still work now. No? What? <laughs> That's a lot of errors. Game object, the find game object with tag, tooltip one. So, uh, let's see here. What happened to it? Inventory, tooltip. Is that because it's being is that because it's being disabled? So if we disable this as well. So if everything was oh okay, I disabled it in the wrong place. That was that was my mistake. So if I do this Okay. And I hit play, it should work now. No, it didn't. What is happening? Why is it not getting the two that, that makes absolutely no sense and then if i enable the inventory and we're getting errors out of nowhere okay so hold on let me try to figure this out and see what happens okay so i kind of figured out a solution it's um it's gonna be a little strange so let me put back my override method that i made earlier and make everything back to the way it was before. Okay, so what we have to do is this has to come out of start, basically. Okay, so we're not gonna be doing this in start. We're gonna do this when we open our inventory. So now our inventory has to get our tooltip, which is fine. So we're gonna do private tooltip, tooltip. And in start, we're gonna find our tooltip. So tooltip equal to game object I find game object with tag tooltip did that incorrect dot get component tooltip and that should be tooltip with a lowercase t and I believe yeah okay so we have that correct so now we found our tooltip and when we open our inventory so right here once we open our inventory uh, we're gonna do tooltip dot let's see tooltip dot toggle it's tooltip dot toggle false and that should be good so once we open the inventory the tooltip should just go away yeah like that so it's not there anymore and then when we right click see the tooltip left click anywhere and it goes away and if we left click on the button, it should still work. We have our button and the tooltip goes away now. So if we close our inventory while the tooltip's open and open it, it should now disappear. Okay, so we have our desired effect. Great, our tooltip is actually working. So, okay, so one more thing I wanna do um, really quickly is that instead of um, eating the apple right away, uh, we're gonna make it so that it goes into our inventory. So you see here when we hit E, our health goes up, okay? That's great, it works fine. But that's not what we want to do, right? So uh, we want it to go straight to our inventory. So if we go to our, uh, let's see, if we go to our slot object, which was called here, let's see. Miscellaneous food item, I believe. Destroy object. 
amount to add and we have our interact script somewhere so right there I'm gonna remove everything else okay so interact key so we're gonna be doing this inside of interact and we're not gonna worry about the the um, uh, the amount uh, to add like food item dot amount to add I believe that was yeah so we're not gonna worry about adding our hunger yet we'll we'll do that some other time for now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do private inventory inventory we're gonna do inventory is equal to game object dot find game object tag inventory dot get component inventory So I want to cut that out, put that here. And we're going to do here find inventory. Okay. So instead of doing that, we're going to do inventory dot add item and ID one. So add apple to inventory. Okay, so not with thirst because we don't have a thirst icon, but you can do that if you'd like. You can do, um, uh, you can do like inventory to add item to, so you could go to your item database and you can create another item called like drink or something. It's up to you. Why is this happening? Destroy food item that get component game object. What did I do here? Food item. Food item that destroy object. That's a little weird. I don't know why I did this. What? Okay, so if I hit play and I go to the drink, it should make it go away still. Yeah, okay, I don't know why I had that twice. It was a little a little strange. Hmm. Okay, so now if we go to our apple, instead of eating it, it should disappear still and we have it in our inventory, but we have an error. Tooltip. Oh. Okay. I see. Hmm. How should we do this? How should we do this? Where are we using our tooltip? It's tooltip. Uh, we should do if tooltip button is equal to null. So. Hmm. Where are we accessing the button? The reason this is happening is because um, we added the item while our inventory was closed and our tooltip was minimized. So it couldn't find it because it was disabled. So what we're gonna have to do is figure out a solution for that. So if we right click, we're gonna get errors. If I clear, oh, that's gonna cause problems, okay. So let me figure out how we could solve this problem. So I believe in our item object is input minus one. Okay, start. Hmm. Tooltip, okay, it's not, it can't find it on start, obviously, it can't find it. So, gee, how do we, how do we do this? All right, let me figure this. All right, so I thought of a solution. It might be, um, it might not be the best idea, but we're gonna try it. So in our tooltip, so over here, instead of doing all this, instead of disabling all these components, because we need to be able to find these components, we're gonna make this scale zero, right? We're gonna make this scale of, um, we're gonna make the scale of our tooltip completely zero. So, well, let's see, how are we gonna do that? We're gonna do transform.scale, I believe, local scale is equal to, I think we could do vector 3.0, I think, yeah. Otherwise, we're gonna do vector 3.1, 
which is the equivalence to 1, 1, 1 on x, y, and z. So I think I did this the other way around. Yeah, false, or oops, vector 3 dot 0 and vector 3 dot 1 on true. And I, yeah, I did this the other way around, so 0 and 1. So now, if we go to our inventory, um, what we can do is we can toggle the tooltip to go off. So let's see if this will work. Okay, so we can't see it. It's still there. You can see it's enabled, and the scale is zero. And we right click, it's one. Left click somewhere, boom, zero. And hypothetically speaking, if we do this and we still get errors, holy crap. That's really weird. This makes absolutely no sense. This is definitely script execution order, which is which is kind of ridiculous. So let's try script execution order. We're gonna want our tooltip to come first. So tooltip. We're gonna want tooltip button to come next. So tooltip button. And then we're gonna want our item object. So hopefully this will work. Yeah, it won't. Okay. Okay, so because we have a problem with script execution order and I can't seem to fix it, we're going to have to make the tooltip actually come on. So it's going to go on like this every time it's gonna be there. And, holy crap, wait, I actually did this wrong. Hold on, instead of making the scale zero, instead of making the scale zero, wait, hold on, let's see. It should be working out, I mean, it's still there, it's just its scale is zero. So if we go, if we go and pick this up so we see it, I go and pick it up. It's there. Right click. It works. So what would be the difference between doing that and making making the scale zero? So if we made the scale zero, like we're doing, it should still be working. So in the inventory, if I make toggle tooltip false, I go to pick this up. We're gonna get an error, which doesn't make any sense. Why is this not popping up? Why is background not being enabled? Why does this happen? Hmm. Oh, wait, wait, whoa, 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 tooltip. Oh my God. Wow, okay, so this could have been working. I just forgot to remove the set active part. Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so now I have a 90% chance feeling that this is going to work. So do that, open it up, and boom, it, magic, it works. So now we don't have a problem. And so do this, everything works. We don't see the, um, we don't see the tooltip anywhere. Pick up these apples, they appear after the inventory has been, after the tooltip has been quote unquote closed, it hasn't been closed, we just made it scale zero, and boom, everything works. So these get linked up really easily. Uh, I know this might have been uh, really confusing. It was kind of confusing for me, I don't, I don't know. Um, I just made a few errors. The, the biggest mistake I made was letting it stay at set active, which I forgot to change. I'm just gonna remove all this. So, uh, yeah, just make sure that your script looks like this. So I'll kind of scroll through it really quick. Feel free to pause. This is what the tooltip should look like now. So that's what it should look like. And yeah, so if you enjoyed the video, leave a like so that I know that I'm doing a good job. If you didn't, dislike because I want to know if I'm doing a bad job. Um, if you have any questions, comment or Twitter. Both work. And uh, to stay updated. Be sure to subscribe and have a good one.